Uh, Tico Snaps, thanks for a $5 super chat. I've seen Yannick FPV on YouTube Shorts use a Nintendo Switch controller, Wii handset, and even a Game Boy to fly his drone. Real or fake? What do you think? Um, Tico Snaps, there's a Rotor Riot episode out there where Drew rigged up an NES, an original NES controller, to let us fly the drone. Um, he wired the NES controller into his radio, soldering the buttons and stuff uh, in so that, for example, when you press the A button, it blips the throttle, right? So we would just press the button like like playing Flappy Bird, bip, 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 and the drone would kind of go like this. And he rigged the left, right, up, down of the NES controller into the into his Spectrum radio so that when we press left, right, up, down, it activates the gimbal. It was doable. It was very difficult, though, because these are not analog controls. So, for example, we had to put the drone into acro into uh, angle mode so that we could tap left, 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 and it would kind of yaw around. You, we couldn't have flown it acro mode. I don't think it would have been possible. Um, we had the idea. CIDFPV says he does this. He flies with a keyboard. We had the idea to set up a keyboard, WASD, to try to do the same thing. It is possible to rig this stuff up with sufficient wiring. What you do is you take the outputs from the, the controller, the Game Boy, whatever. You wire those into a real, like a radio master or something. And you, you solder those in so that they're replacing your inputs. It is possible. But if he's like, if he's like just flying normally, no. It's, then I think it's fake because those are not analog inputs. You have to have analog inputs to actually fly a quad. And if he's flying with a Game Boy, those aren't analog inputs. Um, that's my take. Like, let's look. Is he on Instagram? On YouTube Shorts. Let's see if we can find Yannick and see if we can find an example of this. Yannick FPV shorts. What do we got here? So, okay, I'm going to turn the music off because I don't want to. Let's see. So here he's using joysticks on the, from the Joy-Con. This is plausible. A thousand percent plausible. This is an analog input and it could control a quad. It's hard to tell if the stick movements line up. The stick movements look like they mostly line up. Mostly. Hard to tell. Um, but it's at least plausible that that's real. So let's see if we can find another example. Let's go back to his main page. Where's another example? I don't see any of him like do a Game Boy or whatever. Is that it? That's all of them. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. Where's the other one? The keyboard one. It's not on YouTube, that's for sure. Um, I think I think it's more likely to be fake than not, but I think uh, it's not impossible that it could be real. Uh, nasty six FPV. Thanks for a two dollars super chat. Uh, do we have another question from Nasty Six, or is it just a sticker or something? Can you yes. run six S on T Motor Pacer thirty four hundred KV three point five inch props? Uh, I don't think you should run six S on three or three and a half inch props because I don't think the batteries in that size are are. I think the cells are too small and are not good quality. So in my opinion, 3.3 inch is definitely not worth it to run 6S. Three and a half inches right on the edge. So I would actually, if you're starting from scratch, I would actually recommend 
using 4S. But if you are committed to 6S, um, I think you can do that, but you might want to put a motor output limit to bring the RPM down. I think that's a, I think it'll fly, but I think it's a little high. Uh, yeah, John Goblin points out on 6S, 3.5 inch, you want to be around 2600 kV. 4S, you want to be, so that's more of a 4S kV, but I think it'll fly. I just think you're, it's going to not be great. And I think you're going to want to use a motor output limit. Yeah, I would, I would get a 4S battery if you can, would be my recommendation. One second. Continuing to clean up the super chats. No skate FPV. Thank you for a ten dollar super chat. My drone won't throttle down when I arm. It's fine, but when I start to throttle up, it raises and doesn't throttle back down. Hey, no skate, no skate FPV. Are your props on, or are your props off? If your props are off, that's normal. Just put the props on. Go somewhere safe and test hover it. If your props are on and it just flies to the moon, that's a different story, but I'm going to guess that your props are off. This is a really common question. No, no skate says props are on. So you mean it flies to the moon? Is that what you're saying? If it flies to the moon with props on, the number one problem that causes that, in my opinion, is you've, you've got your motor spinning props out, but your flight controller is set to props in or vice versa. So the next thing I would say to do is check your motor direction. And if that's not it, then I'm going to guess that your PIDs, you've been, if, then I would ask, are you on default PIDs? If yes, if no, then try default PIDs. And then if that doesn't work, I think something is mechanically wrong, like you got a bad gyro. But that's, if it, if it like hovers, but then it won't throttle down after you punch it, that says your PIDs are messed up or your flight controller is messed up. Okay, it's on default PIDs. Now I think there's something mechanically wrong. Like you've got a cracked frame plate and it's causing a vibration resonance or something. Are your motors super hot? That would also be consistent with that. Um, expert. Thank you for a five euro super chat. First time catching a stream. Is there some reason I don't hear about JGMCU stuff more stuff stuff more often? Got a bunch of their stuff. It works great. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't really have a strong opinion about JGMCU. They came onto the scene a little while back and I'm always a little slow to pick up on new manufacturers because I don't want to like, I want them to prove themselves. I don't really have an opinion about JGMCU, whether they make good stuff or bad stuff. Yeah. 